Checka Pro Joe here on the Checka Pro Radio Show. I tell people all the time it's really important to find quality contractors. And what you want to make sure is that they're insured. Mike Giddich is joining me from Honey Dude's Handyman. Hey, Mike, how are you? Great. How are you today? I am great. So are you insured to work in my home? I love this question. One of my favorites. Um, we get this probably more than any other question. Um, of course, we're insured. But let me explain what insurance really is. I think people are just, are you bonded and insured? And as you used to see, and do you still do on some truck, licensed, bonded, and insured? Well, what does that mean? I don't know. Do you? I mean, it can mean anything. Insurance is important to a homeowner for a lot of reasons. Uh, I know you can always find a guy cheaper that uh, does it, but maybe isn't insured. But what that insurance does is puts us in a bubble to protect you and your home. So if someone's not insured, number one, that could fall back on your homeowner's insurance. Not only not insured, ensuring that they have a proper policy. We're always working with our insurance company to update them on, hey, we got different vans, we got different equipment to make sure that we're insured and, and covering ourselves on that stuff. And that, that equipment's insured to be on at your house. You know, we can't just go get a Bobcat and show up at your house with it and have never used one. We're not trained on it and things like that. So it's more than just having the insurance. It's making sure the proper insurance if I have, say, $10,000 in liability insurance and I show up in your home and back into a BMW and there's $20,000 in damage, your insurance company is going to go, well, you're responsible to go after them to get the rest. Well, yeah. if I don't have enough insurance coming into your house, are you really going to get that money back? Probably not. And I really would hate for someone to be liable if a guy falls off a ladder and they're not insured and gets hurt on their property and they're just an individual and no company to back them and no workman's comp. And then not only... Did your repair not get done? Now you're having to deal with all these, the courts and everything over in insurance issues. So it's not only making sure people are insured, it's making sure to understand what that really means and that they're properly insured. Any good company should have at least a million dollar policy. I agree. And ask the provider of services as a homeowner, ask for the certificate of insurance and um, ask. Yeah, never, yeah. So right. Never and, be, never be afraid to ask. If somebody does not want to provide that to you, then red flag. <laughs> Yep. And also, if you're not so sure that it's a recent one, ask to have it sent to you by their insurance carrier. And that's that's just a safety tip. But, Mike, I like what you're talking about, because here's what people just don't understand. In America, for the most part, if someone gets hurt on your property, it could be your problem, even though you hired them as a professional. But if they're not properly insured, you don't want to find out if they fall off a ladder in your living room or, you know, on the front lawn, because the way it works in our country is you're the property owner and that's where it begins. So, yes, we understand you have insurance and your insurance would pay for it, but you don't want to have your insurance pay for it. You want to have the contractor's insurance pay for it. Right, Mike? 100 percent. That's like I said, that's why it's important to make sure not only they have insurance, enough insurance and any good company will because the insurance company is not mm -hmm. going to supply you for less. but. Yeah, I, it's just crazy to me that people don't understand and that you want to go through that. And there are, unfortunately, there are people out here who will come into your home and slip and fall and mm -hmm. and in for the wrong reasons to to know that they're going to get a payday or try to get a payday from your insurance. And they have no intention of actually doing your work. It's just they want to get in there and fall off the ladder. Yep. Hire a pre-qualified home service professional like Mike Giddich and his team over at Honey Dudes handyman they're pre-qualified at check a pro it's so great to have you on the program again i appreciate it mike thank you